In this example, again, CD triaxial test. So this time we are given tau f equals sigma prime tangent 28 degrees. So we're given this more coulomb failure criterion, which means this friction angle is given. So remember that tangent 28, so that 28 is basically your friction angle. And this is for normally consolidated clay. Again, we know C prime is approximately zero. Okay, so for this example, it's zero. And this is a drained triaxial test, same soil, on the same soil with chamber confining pressure. Okay. So this chamber confining pressure is what we call sigma three. Since this, uh, this is a drained triaxial test, sigma three and sigma three prime is the same. So that's your cha chamber confining pressure. And then we're going to calculate the deviator stress at failure. Okay. So deviator stress at failure is that delta sigma d at failure. And the key to calculate the deviator stress at failure is to find out actually the major principal stress. So this by definition is the difference between these two principal stresses. And for this example, we are given this sigma three prime. So we only need to find sigma one prime to calculate this deviator stress. And the way to do that is to use this equation here. So this is the equation we talked about in part two of this chapter. So that's the effective stress, major principal stress and effective stress, minor principal stress. So we're going to use this expression here to calculate sigma one prime. So using equation 12.8. So this equation here, we have C prime zero in phi prime of 28. If you look at this expression, so C prime zero meaning basically we are, this term is zero basically. So our sigma one prime is sigma three prime tangent square 45 plus phi prime over two. And substitute these numbers 100 times tangent square 45 plus 28 over two. In 277. So simple, just substitute that numbers, these two numbers into equation 12.8. Once you have the major principal stress at failure, then the deviator stress is simply the difference between these two. So delta sigma d at failure is sigma one prime minus sigma three prime, 277 minus 100. 177 kilonewton per meter square. So that is the deviator stress at failure.